there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you think Pete the Cat will have a lot of fun when he goes to the library? Some yeses and some maybes, Bear. Well, this is Pete's first time checking out the library. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see all the places Pete sees and what he discovers. Pete the Cat Checks Out the Library by James Dean. Pete's mom is taking him to the library for the first time. The librarian gives Pete his very own library card. Cool, says Pete. The librarian smiles. Time for the tour. The librarian takes Pete through the library. There is a big desk where people wait to check out books. Pete sees some of his friends reading at a long table. It's very peaceful and quiet. How relaxing. The librarian takes Pete to her favorite room. There are lots of Pete-sized chairs and tables and shelves. There are books of every shape, size, and color. What do I do now? Pete asks. Now you read a book, the librarian says. Which book should I read? asked Pete. You can read any book you like, says the librarian. Pete looks around. There are so many books. Pete picks up a book all about airplanes and jets. He reads it and pretends he is a stunt pilot. He flies a super fast jet and does loop-de-loops and spirals high in the sky. Then Pete finds a book with dragons, wizards, and unicorns on the cover. He reads it and imagines that he is a powerful wizard using magic spells and a special wand to defend his castle against a fire-breathing dragon. Next, Pete opens a book about spiders and insects. He reads it and imagines that he is a scientist studying all types of critters in the wild. He has to be very still to study some critters and very fast to study others. Then Pete chooses a book with all sorts of scary monsters on the cover. It is a book of fairy tales. Pete reads it and pretends that he is in a dark, spooky forest trying to outsmart a big, bad wolf. Pete puts that book back on the shelf. It is too scary. Pete opens up a book about the pyramids in Egypt. He reads it and pretends that he is an explorer riding a camel across the desert and climbing to the top of a giant pyramid. Next, he picks a book with all sorts of robots on the cover. He reads it and imagines that he is a robot at a robot dance party. His arms and legs make whizzing sounds when he moves. When Robot Pete speaks, he says, bleep, bloop, bleep. Next, Pete picks up a book about superheroes. He reads it and makes believe that he is a superhero. He flies around the city in a colorful cape, chasing bad guys and saving the day. 
Then Pete spots a big book about the ocean and all its creatures. He reads it and imagines that he is a scientist in a submarine deep in the Atlantic Ocean looking for whales, squids, and sharks. There are so many wonderful books to read at the library. Pete can be whatever he imagines with a book. Reading is super groovy. Bear's wondering, did you like going to all those places with Pete? Yes, some of them. <laughs> did you imagine you were a robot at the robot's dance? Or did you ride in the submarine with Pete to see the whales? A lot of yeses, Bear. Well, is Pete right? Can you be anyone, anywhere you imagine with a book? Well, Bear hopes you come back soon for more magical adventures in books. Bye for now. Please subscribe.